Okay, this is going to be an answer to a question I was asked in the lecture the day we did on data visualization uh, and conditional formatting. Um, in Excel, I've, I've created a method of doing conditional formatting in Excel which looks at numbers. Uh, this is available in the Food Student Support module, and here's one of the reasons why we'd use it. Here's some data for indications of public health in English regions. Uh, it's based on male mean life expectancy for males and mean life expectancy for females, and there's the average. And there's a number of uh, set of numbers there, and the uh, the ideal thing what we do is we had some nice way of distinguishing those which are around the average, those which were better than the average, and those which are worse than the average. It's, it's quite straightforward to do in, in with numerical data, so I'm just going to go right to the end of this sheet and show you what the result is. Okay, I've set this up using various rules, um, quite easy to find uh, on the internet, and also as I say, I've created this spreadsheet which is in the support module. Uh, so the yellow ones are uh, clustered around the uh, average, uh, green ones better than the average and the red ones worse than the average and this is mean life expectancy so mean life expectancy in the northeast and northwest. Yorkshire is worse than the uh, country as a whole. So I was asked a question, uh, can you do this on text? And it, was, it was for a good reason. Uh, I'm just going to bring up another spreadsheet here. Um, the, st the student who's asking this was uh, doing a first year um, microbiology uh, assignment and it produced a table of different characteristics of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. I'm just going to turn them back to yeses and noes for, for a second. Okay. So she's got a table there with various yeses and noes based on a number of different characteristics. Uh, so, was, so she was asking can we use conditional formatting to make these yeses and noes more easily distinguishable from each other. And the answer is yes. I wasn't sure the, how to do it, but uh, a little bit of digging in Excel uh, produced an answer. So what you need to do first is select the data you want to conditionally format. Uh, the conditionally formatting menu button is under the home tag, so it's quite easy to find. And if you click on that, you get a number of options. Uh, these work reasonably well out of the box with numbers, but not so much with text. Uh, so for example, you can have a number of different color scales based on the value of numbers. The spreadsheet we saw a bit early on how to do a bit more sophisticated uh, control of the values. But in this case, we're going to look at text. So we can't use any of them, but we go down to more rules and click on that. Uh, we click on the second one, format only cells that contain, and there's a little dialog appears here. So we want to format cells only with uh, specific text. In this case, I'm just going to put N for no. And it doesn't matter whether it's capital N, lowercase n makes no difference, the system doesn't distinguish. Uh, I haven't set a format yet, so we'll set a format and what we'll do is we'll change the font colour. So the font dialog box comes up here, so you can obviously do lots of things in here, but I'm going to just set the font to red. Um, it's for a, This is for going to be in a Word document, so you probably wouldn't want to do a background or anything more fancy than that. Click on OK. Click on OK again, and we'll notice now that the ends in the table have now turned red. OK, and we also now Part of the slight annoyance is that you do need to set up a, a separate rule for the uh, yeses. So we'll go to that again. We'll go to color scales, more rules. Uh, again, format cells that contain. Not on that. Specific text. In this case, we want yes. And I'm going to set the format to be blue. Okay. And okay again. And now the yeses are turned into uh, blue ones. So if I put an N in there, that turns red. Um, you can have NO and that'll be fine and we can change that to yes and that will change to blue again um, so it's, it's, it's quite a sort of flexible system so there it is a straightforward way of setting up a table uh, where you've got colour values based on the text that's in there okay hope that was useful